Hi guys, today is a special video because I've got someone really special here. Now before I tell you why he's here, this video is in response to a, a comment that someone made and that's the able agent. Shout out to you, the able agent. And the comment is, can you do a video on what you record with and where you got everything? So I thought, yeah, I could just respond to that. But why not have somebody who's better skilled at all things video and film and lighting which is my very own husband who is a filmmaker he's a content creator and he knows his stuff when it comes to content creation welcome to my youtube channel and before he introduces himself this video is for anyone who wants to get into content creation or someone who's just starting content creation or is well on their journey in con on co in content creation and basically just wants to get better at their craft and better at content creation uh, and he's very big on starting with what you have and using the things that you have so Thank you for coming through. Who are you? I'm your husband. <laughs> anyway, what an introduction. Who are you? Anyway, I'm, my name is Gideon and I'm a filmmaker. She's going to put my link in the description. So I'm a filmmaker and what I do, I make videos on YouTube telling people about camera equipment. And my main purpose is that you can use what you have in order to make good looking images. So she showed me the comment and she was like, yo, this would be cool that if we do like a collaboration and discuss the equipment that we use, like the one that she's using mainly for our videos and which is the DGI Osmo Pocket 3. I'm trying to get out, get the thing out. It's so stuck. This thing, the DGI Osmo Pocket 3, which is a powerful tool. It's a camera slash gimbal. And this is what she's been using. We got it like almost how many months ago did we get it? So we got it six months ago. And how has it been so far? Since you so since you saw, I told you about it. And next thing the thing arrived. Basically, I, I got this six months ago because I wanted something that was really quick. I have two kids and I'm very busy. So I don't like carrying big things around. He told me about it. And I was like, I literally got it. The next and... day. The <laughs> next day. She even got the creative combo. Not the basic one. She got the creative combo. So he didn't think I was going to get it. So uh, literally the next day, it was by the doorstep. And I've been using it ever since. So thanks for the recommendation. But honestly, like this is so quick, so easy. You can record landscape portrait. And it has a microphone, which I use. And I just like pop it in here. And the best purchase by far I've done this year is this little thing right here. And we're not sponsored by it. We bought this ourselves, as you can hear. So, yeah, the, this has really helped me in my content creation game because it's quick, it's easy. I don't have to lumber around this big camera. And I always just, I never have any memory in my phone. Sometimes I do use my phone, but, and the quality is great on my phone, but I just never have any memory. So I put this in my handbag and off I go. Half the time people don't know I'm recording content because sometimes it can be really awkward recording content on your phone because people are like, oh, she's trying to be a content creator. I am, but you don't need to know it. So this little thing right here, people will ever that you're recording content. So this has been a really great investment. It is an investment because it's quite pricey, but we decided that we're going to be content creators this year and we decided that we were going to save up and invest in our content creation journey and that's why we have it i wouldn't say it's pricey because co compared to look at the phones these days the iphone comes out and it's like 1200 for the pro max the one with more memory whereas this one is about just the basic one is about 400 pounds i don't know to us dollars it should be around 500 us dollars somewhere there i don't know but this is like 400 pounds it's a good investment i started using it she got it for her own videos, then I just hijacked the thing. I remember when we went to Namibia, this was my vlogging camera. I literally vlogged my entire journey on this because it's so discreet. You, no one knows that you're using a camera. So what I would do, I would plug my microphone, clip my microphone, then go out there, put the, mic, the camera on the floor, then just start talking. And I act like I'm walking around talking to myself. And people wouldn't know. 
Whereas if it was the camera, like the camera we're using right now, the ZV-E10, it's a bit bulky. So the moment I set up the tripod, then I set up the camera, then everyone is going to know, oh, this person is a camera, then it's quite distracting. Because you see some people, they want to be in the background. You see some people walking around with their phone. But this is like actually cool. Plus you can walk around, vlog whilst you're holding it. The good thing about it, because it has a gimbal, the footage is more stabilized. What's a gimbal? Yeah, so I guess question, what advice would you give to someone who's starting out who doesn't know where to start in terms of lighting, in terms of camera, or maybe they haven't started yet because they're like, I don't have a camera, I just have this iPhone 6, where do I start? The thing I can say, start with your phone. The best camera that you can ever have is this thing that you call your phone. I don't care what year it was made, as long as it's got a good camera, take the videos. As long as also you've got good lighting. My most important thing on my YouTube channel is to put a, the, the link in the description. I made a video talking about how to create good looking images, when images, good looking videos using your phone. And in this video, I talk about just using normal video lights and your phone, and you manage to produce video quality that no one can tell that it was shot from the phone. So the best camera you can have right now whilst you're studying is use your phone. Then as you grow, as you invest, you can either get the ZV-E10 if you're like a camera person, you want everyone to know that you've got a camera, get the Sony ZV-E10. Now they have a Mark II, it's about 900 pounds. The Mark One, you can get it used. It shoots 4K. Then, yeah, start using that or just get the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is the best investment. You can put it in your bag, you can put it in, in your pockets, no one will know. Whereas a camera, you have to get a camera bag, get a lens. tripod, get a lens. Whereas this, like when, when we went to Namibia, I shot a lot of vlogs with this. You can check my videos on YouTube. I did show you the little tripod thing. Like this, I'm telling you, this, stuff, this is a game changer for content creation. Just put this on a table. Has this little mini tripod and boom with your mic you're ready to go and it'll follow you everywhere you go it follows you so it has a it has a cinematic like easy smooth thing going that's on that's the gimbal part that's the gimbal so would 100 percent honestly this has changed the game for my content creation and there's lots of equipment for it as well so if you see any of my car videos which i'll, I'll post here whenever i'm driving I, i've got the car mount for it so i just put this thing in the car and I drive and it like just follows me as I'm driving, which is really cool. So again, not sponsored. I just love it. And someone asked me what I use. So I thought, why not make a video about it? And like what she's saying, when we were on holiday in Namibia, I would put the thing on this tripod like this, then just put it anywhere on any flat surface. Make sure that it's focused on me and just started taking videos. And no one would know, or sometimes you can walk around with it like this, and no one will know that you're holding a camera. People will just think this person is holding a stick, <laughs> knowing that you're holding a camera. And it's one of the best. If DJI, I don't get sponsored by DJI, but... If you want to sponsor us, we will happily yeah. take this. It's spot. one of the best <laughs> devices. But remember, your phone is number one. If you're using your phone, like the question that she asked, if a person doesn't have anything, they have their phone. The second thing that I would advise you to get is good audio. Like right now we're using... So I, I feel like in this day and age, audio is really important. You can get a basic mic for a reasonable price, use it. I can endure bad quality video, but when it comes to audio, I automatically cl cl click off if the audio is not great. I think audio is really important. Lights and audio is very important, I feel like. We got this probably a year ago from Amazon and I think they were like 90 pounds for two of them. I use this sometimes when I'm using my phone as well or with the camera, really great investment. Again, a very clear, crisp, sharp audio as you can hear. Again, I'll never scrimp on audio is what I would recommend. Good audio is what I would recommend. It doesn't have to be this one. It was an iPhone one. It was like 20 pounds. But the quality was like, you could tell. But it was better than... And better than nothing, but you could tell that even the phone, the phone microphone was much better. 
but she got the 20 pounds one then we ended up getting this one because i was like we need something like this i know some people love using these things holding it like this I, i'm not a fan of that so i just literally like i never really understand why though because it's made for a, with a clip on it so that it's discreet but i guess there's something really cool about doing this and i did this in my other video because it was just uh, i wanted to but yeah you can hold it you can put it in it's discreet no one would ever know but it does something to the audio quality so don't scrimp on audio quality if you can and yeah. then i before you go there it does something to the audio quality and also especially with these type of videos where you're just talking sometimes people don't have time to watch they're just listening to the audio whilst you're talking i and do that a lot if you have good quality audio it gives time for people to focus whilst doing something else they are listening to something whereas if you have bad audio quality people just turn it off so it's a good investment all these gear that we're talking about it's available on amazon you can get it all on amazon sort of for free have to pay for it but it's available on amazon and this is good and people always complain and say oh i'm never gonna afford this microphone is too expensive but if you think about it people spend money on netflix people spend money on takeaway people spend money on mcdonald's and all this other thing what if you just take all that money that you're supposed to spend on a mcdonald's spend on a netflix and just put it together and invest in your equipment so as much as you want to use the equipment that you have, invest in these little things, good lighting. Like right now we're using a light from Amazon. We bought it as a set. It was two lights, but you can get it for about $50 or 40 something pounds. It's available on Amazon. You had a question that you wanted to ask? No, I was going to talk about lighting and the importance of lighting. This is probably the first video I've done on this channel that I've used lighting. In all the other videos, in all honesty, I haven't used any lighting. Because you got the professional. When you got the professional, then you need to use lighting. In my, when it's just me, I, I do it in my other YouTube channel. But in this channel, it's very like chill, very free flowing, very blasé. So I don't use lighting, even if I have the gear and all the equipment, because I'm married to a filmmaker. So I do have quite a lot of equipment. I don't necessarily use it all the time because I'm a busy mum of two i have businesses and all of that stuff so sometimes i don't have time to get all of that stuff out and that's testament to say you don't need all of this stuff you can quite usually like usually i would just use my dji and just press record whilst i'm in the kitchen doing my stuff or whilst i'm driving so you don't need it that shouldn't be a barrier to you getting started and starting your youtube channel or starting to create content if you've got your phone use your phone if you've got a mic use your mic if you don't Use your phone audio, mic. Audio is the most important thing. But you can also do like loads of things through CapCut. And do, the the pro problem with studio sound is that it makes you sound like a robot. It's not natural. But you can get a lav mic. It's called an LAV lav mic. If you can't afford this 90 pounds. This one, the one that we're using is called Holy Land Luck. M so H-O-L-L-Y-L-A-N-D. It's available on Amazon. We'll, she'll post the links in the description. But... This is high quality, get this. But you can get a basic 20 pounds microphone like the one she used, the wireless micro. Always get the wire, don't get the one with the cable. Because let's say if you want to take your video outside, you're sitting in the park, you're now walking around with a cable, just get the one with wireless capability. And that's what I would say. And what she was saying about lighting, if you ever want a video where we can explain about lighting, I have a video that I made, she'll post it in the description. But we can also post videos here if you just want a simple talking head like we are doing right now, a simple setup on how to set it up, we can do a video like that. Just let us know in the comment section because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to help everyone that you can use what you have. And this is what I've learned. I'm just trying to share it to the whole world because if you win, I win. That's the most um, important mindset that I have. And we're all trying to win and make it on YouTube because... We're goal getters. We are the goal getters. We're out to Get achieve us. our goals and get the bag that's what we're trying to do so yeah let us know in the comment below if you want any more like lighting equipment videos literally he's the guy and he will make it happen even like how to stand in front of the lights how to use natural light because i've seen some videos and i'm like Ooh, that could have been better if you had just stood in a different way i didn't know any of this stuff and he's had to teach me 
how to stand and position myself and which angle to take when facing the light because it does matter and you can see the difference if you go on his youtube channel you can literally see that he loves what he does and he's very passionate about content and making sure that people are leveling up in their content creation game so let us know if you have any questions if you have any videos that you want to see us do or see him do we might do some demos depending on what you guys want and we will make it yeah, so. we'll make it and also check my vlog i started a vlog series on my youtube channel just showing my journey in namibia and i'm also sharing um some of the filmmaking things that we did there we use it to the dji what i've been saying on this video we didn't use any special light it was all natural light but still i managed to make something that looks good so make sure you check it and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section i'm willing to help or you can drop them on my youtube channel but make, make sure you drop them on her youtube channel so that i'll answer the questions for her. you're gonna tell them to subscribe to my youtube, to my YouTube channel and subscribe <laughs> to her YouTube channel, importantly, because she's the one who brought me onto this video. When she showed me the comment, I was like, okay, can we just make a video? And I, she was like, yeah, let's do it. So now we're doing it. Invited yourself onto my now, YouTube Yeah, channel. I invited myself to the YouTube. <laughs> you literally did. Yeah. But anyway, keep posting videos. Don't be discouraged. Keep on making videos. Don't worry about what people will say about your video quality. As long as you got good audio, continue doing it. And stop looking at the views. Yeah. That wasn't part of the video the whole day. Don't look at the views. This is the first video we've done together. It mm -hmm. is. The first YouTube video we've done together. What other videos have we done together? There was a video that we did years ago for a Facebook video that we never posted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.